guys welcome back to my channel so today's video is going to be how i customized my computer and how you can too so my computer is not a macbook or a desktop but a lot of these tips that i'm going to be showing you guys you can still apply to any computer and i don't think a lot of these tips have been even used in other like macbook customization videos so if you're looking to customize your computer even more you're in the right place so let's get right on into it All right, so here is the case, and I have a whole bunch of cute stickers on here. They are all from a site called Redbubble, and actually some of these stickers are from my Redbubble shop, including this one, this one, this one. So if you like any of these stickers, I'll link them down below. So this case actually came with my computer, and I'm supposed to use it for like the warranty reasons, but it was provided by my school, so that's what the case is pretty simple standard case for it so as you open it up i have this super adorable like rainbow keyboard and it actually easily comes off it's just like a fun accessory i have on here and i love just typing on it i love how it's like super cute rainbow just makes my um computer that more cuter i guess you could say and i just love the way this looks <laughs> Okay, so here's my lock screen for my computer. But the only thing is about this Chromebook is if I try to change the background by like um, doing this, I hit set wallpaper, it's super strange and like it won't actually let me upload an image of my own, which is kind of annoying. It only has a few random images from my computer and not all of them. Okay, so that's the wallpaper for my computer. And if you just um do a like a two finger tab or something like this then on your thing will come the auto hide shelf shelf position and set wallpaper so i just showed you what set wallpaper does but you can also change the self position i currently have it on the bottom and if you want to customize your chromebook you can hit the left and it will appear over there or you can do the right and it will appear over there so i always have mine up but you can actually like auto hide it if you really want to. But I'm just gonna do always show shelf and, okay, that's a mouthful, always show the shelf <laughs> and I have it at the bottom. So if you wanna customize that part of your shelf, you totally can. And another thing that you can do to customize that shelf is to actually change the apps that are down here. And whenever you're using a different app, you can double click and hit pin. So that's basically everything on this main homepage, and now I'm going to take you into the settings to show you how I do something really cool, which is change the mouse color to this super cute purple instead of the boring black. So when you're in a Chromebook, you're just going to want to hit this corner button over here, and you're going to want to go to the little settings icon so it'll bring you into your settings and you're just going to want to scroll all the way down and hit advanced at the very bottom so when we go down to accessibility let's just edit that and now there's a whole bunch of different things we're going to go down and mouse and touchpad is what i'm going to show you guys so if you go over here to cursor color i have mine on magenta but the default is black so you can also change it to any color. It could be yellow, red, like there are so many colors on here. It's so cool. And I just love how there's that extra option that most people have no idea about. So we can also do this thing where you highlight it when it's moving. Some people like that. I personally don't like that, but some people do. So if you're looking for that, you can. And you can also make your cursor larger and you can edit how large you want it to be. I like mine to be kind of small. I don't really want it to be that big, but those are some cool features that you can do in your settings that will really customize your computer and make everyone ask how you did that. All right, so now we're in my screen recording and I'm just gonna show you guys how I customized my Chrome. So if you have any computer, I'm sure you can have Chrome on it. And this is basically where you're gonna have Google and you're gonna also have like things like YouTube or um, Google Mail or Google Drive if you use any of those things. During school, I have so, so many tabs open. So Google came out with this super cool recent update 
where you can actually group your tabs. I know this is probably one of the coolest things ever. And I am just in love with how you can group the tabs. So I group the tabs by their um, different classes. So this is English class right here. If I click on it, it will bring out all the tabs in that class and I can still easily access them. It'll have a little color thing around them. And I just click on those different things like so. But if I want to close all those tabs, I'll just hit it again and then they'll all just disappear. If you want to create a group, you just have to go on any tab. I'm just going to use this um, basic tab right here. You're going to double click with two fingers and you're going to hit add tab to new, add tab to group. So you can choose a um, category that you already have or you can hit new group. You can name the group, whatever you want. So I'll just do um, video group and I will choose a color. So I'll choose this cute color right here. And then there's also a few other settings that you can do as well. I don't really want to do that though. And then we have this amazing cool thing called new video group. Another cool things that you can do about a group is you can easily just edit the name and the color by just double clicking on it again. And when you X out all the tabs in the group, it's just going to disappear. If you guys were wondering where I got this super cute background for my Google, this is actually on my website if you guys want to check that out because yes, I have a new website and I'm super excited that that is out now. So the website will be linked in my description. You can basically just go on there. It has all my links to my Redbubble shop, to my Amazon book, as well as to all of my free graphics you guys can use. So if you're in love with this collage, then you can definitely use that. So what I actually do is I hit this little... um customize this page in the corner and then I can just upload a device from my computer. So you just click that and you would just choose the file that you want and then you can put it right in there. So another thing over here is this thing called shortcuts and then this will allow you to customize what you see right here on the Google page. You can either click on shortcuts or create curated by you, meaning that you add or delete them and make them customizable to you. Or you can do your just most visited sites as well, which are basically just suggestions by Google. But I like it to be my shortcuts to make it like more customized to me. And I don't really use shortcuts. I just leave it on there. You can also hide your shortcuts if you really want. And then the last thing, which is so, so cool, is color and theme. So when you pick a one of these things, the top will completely change. So if I hit black, It'll change to this really cool like black and white vibe. And I have this like the really light one. And it's so super cool. I actually did my own color picker one. And I did this super adorable purple color to be up there. And I just love that. So that's how I made my color up here. Those are some cool things that you can do with your Google page. Another thing is the bookmarks bar up here so i like to do this for things like for school and stuff like that but it doesn't really matter and basically what we do is you hit this little star whenever you're on a tab and you would create a bookmark if you don't want it maybe you hit the star by accident you can remove but when you're doing this you can also add it to a folder so i have a f like two folders basically to add a folder all you're going to do is just double click up here and then hit add folder and then you would just write the name of your folder there. Then if you want to change the order of your thing, you just click on it and you can move it around. So that's how you customize that bookmarks bar up there. So that bookmarks bar feature is super cool. I love to use that whenever I want to save something for school or anything like that. So the next thing I want to talk about is your Gmail. So when you go into your Gmail, it's going to basically be white and gray. I have a different color, obviously, but I just want to show you guys how you can customize this to make it really special and unique to you. So if you click settings over here, then you're going to have a few different options that you can do to really customize your inbox. So you can have your default will show all of the different attachments there are in each email. I like to do comfortable though. I just like to see what the email is. And then there's also compact. If you get a lot of emails and you want to squish in as much as you can, but I think comfortable is a good amount. It just sort of 
lets your eyes not have like this overload of lettering, but you can do whatever you want. So for the theme, you can just view all, and they have so many different options. I think I chose this like dark purple eggplant color, which is so super cute, but they have a whole bunch of cool options that you can do. And then you can also go to your own photos, I think, to upload. So then they have a whole bunch of other things about the inbox type. You can just do default, which is just um, the same thing, but you could also do important first, unread first, starred first, priority inbox, or uh, multiple inboxes. I just have the default because I only really use this inbox for my school and stuff like that. But if you guys want, if you guys have a lot of different um, emails coming in, you want to really customize that to your own. Um, you definitely can do that. <laughs> So the last thing I want to talk to you about is up here. This is all of the little like extent Chrome extensions. This is where they're all going to show up. So the Chrome extensions are kind of a default, I think, but there are a few that I have uploaded there on my own. So one of them is Screencastify, which is what I'm using right now. So I'll show you guys what that looks like. And this is basically how I record my screen recordings. And then the other one I use is OneTab. So I'm not going to click on it because it's going to do something. But when you click on that little one tab, it's going to take all of your tabs that you had on your desktop and it's going to bring it literally into one tab. And it'll put all your tabs on here. Whenever you want to open one, just click on it. And I think it's so helpful when I had all those tabs open. The very last thing I'll talk to you guys about is, is pinning your most used websites so you have really easy access to them. What you basically do to pin a site is you just double click, hit pin, and then you can change the order of your pins all over here. I really like to use this and then you can just unpin if you don't want it there. So that's basically it for how to customize your computer. This is everything I've done to customize it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed and maybe um, were able to customize your computer a little more. So I guess that's the end of this video. I'm super glad you guys stayed to the very end and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!